Hello guys and dolls. I am a movie buff and before you call yourself a movie buff, you've had to see Princess Bride, Scarface, and Godfather, and of course, Shawshank Redemption bonus points for seeing The Big Lebowski. So I am a bit of a film connoisseur. I love a good film and lucky for you, I've compiled my list of the top five boxing movies according to moi. Number five is Million Dollar Baby starring Hilary Swank, Clint, Clint, Clint Eastwood, and Morgan Freeman. Typically, I'm not too into chicks fighting, but this movie was just a tearjerker that had you easily following all the way through. Number four is The Hurricane. It actually kind of pains me to put this one on number four, but I can't see myself shuffling around the others, so number four it is. The Hurricane stars Denzel Washington in a true story of Reuben the Hurricane Carter, who spent 20 years in federal prison for a crime that would later be overturned. Number three belongs to Rocky. WTF, WTF. I can hear it already. I know, I know, but guys, it shouldn't come as a surprise, really, if you've learned anything about me. Rocky is arguably the number one boxing movie, just not my favorite. Numero dos is the documentary that I've seen more than any other documentary and possibly movie. And that, my friends, is titled When We Were Kings. The 1996 film won for Best Documentary and tells the tale of the boxing match way too dramatic for fiction. That would, of course, be the 1974 heavyweight bout between George Foreman and Muhammad Ali, better known as the Rumble in the Jungle. The champ is here! Brum, bum, bum. The champ is here! Brum, bum, bum. The champ is here! He says that. <laughs> so here we are at top spot, and so many to choose from. But first, let me go over my honorable mentions. Cinderella Man is a great movie starring Russell Crowe as James Braddock and Renee Zellweger as his biatch. Girl fight I saw in high school, which was fun because I really kind of thought I was her. Imagine me in high school. I actually don't imagine me in high school. It was a sight. Robert De Niro won the 1980 Academy Award for Raging Bull. I really love this film, um, but I could not bump the others, so it stays an honorable mention. Don't shoot me for this one. All right, so those were my top three honorable mentions. Are you ready to hear my top spot? Are you? Huh? Are you? Punk? Number one is Ali with Will Smith. Muhammad Ali has been the subject of many, many films and documentaries, but this movie takes my cake, or takes the cake. <laughs> I don't care how many times I watch this movie, when he is running and training through the villages and the music picks up, I just become teary-eyed every single time. I dare you to watch that and not get teary-eyed. Actually, you are a man and you lack all emotion, so I'm sure you can do it. Nothing nor nobody will ever compare to Ollie, both the man and the movie. How does my list stack up to yours? Let me know by commenting your thoughts below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. Oh, real quickly, if you can't get enough of me here on YouTube, visit me at Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Tuffy May. I've had that kid all my life, Tuffy, because I'm tough, and May is my middle name, so now you guys know my whole name, Stephanie Maybell. Great. Would you like my social security number too? Anyhow. Lots of love, and I will leave this with my Bruce Lee, not Jet Lee, my Bruce Lee kiss of death. Y'all ready? Sit down for this. Chill, because you're about to die. That's my wind up.